I wanted to let you know that here at the Pinal County Sheriff's Office, we do not mandate the vaccine. And as long as I'm your sheriff, we will never mandate the vaccine. We believe that your health choices are yours and yours alone. And so whether you get the vaccine or don't get the vaccine, that's your private information. Here, we believe in America and freedom. That is Pinal County, Arizona Sheriff Mark Lamb saying no vaccine mandates are coming to his department in a video that has gone viral. Sheriff Lamb joins us now with more on his message on personal freedom and the response that he's getting. Good morning to you, Sheriff. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on with us. You got so many views, more than 65,000 at our last check. Were you surprised? No, we kind of knew this would go viral. I mean, it's it's uh, it's a hot topic in this country. And look, I, I, frankly, I did it because I'm tired of seeing weak leadership across this country and weak leadership as it relates to protecting their employees' rights. Um, so we wanted to do something that let people know that here we don't tolerate that. Well, the Biden administration is pushing businesses to mandate this. Why are you against it? Well, I think it's people's personal choice. You know, I, I, health choices have always been. You know, last year, it was like pulling teeth to get a list of anybody that had COVID so that when my deputies responded to their houses, we knew who they were. Now, these same people are more than willing to give up all of your public health uh, privacy uh, for the sake of security. And I'm not OK with that. I don't think it should change. Have you gotten a lot of support? Oh, I've gotten a ton of support. Uh, you know, you get your pushback too. I, some new sport thing called me a rebel, but I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> well, also in Arizona, we reported on this yesterday. Border Patrol agents caught these migrants that were attempting to enter the United States in this fake Border Patrol vehicle, and the driver was wearing a fake CBP uniform. There's a picture of the car that they were driving. Looks very real to the to most of us, but if, I guess if you're in law enforcement, you recognize it's not real. What what, else, what other details do you know about this? Well, they do this all the time. These look, this is a billion billion dollar industry of bringing drugs and humans into this country. They they will exhaust every resource to try to bring them in here undetected. Uh, this is not the first time they've used they've painted a truck to look like a border patrol truck. This is why as sheriffs we're standing together because the federal government's not doing it. We're standing together under Protect America now to protect America from bad things, uh, bad policies, to protect the people's constitutional rights. And hopefully your listeners will check it out at protectamericanow.com and come support us. Sheriff Lamb, thank you so much for being on with us. Thank you, Ainsley. I You're appreciate welcome. it. Thank you for your service. God bless you out there. God bless you, too. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.